Hey guys, did you have a spooky Halloween? I sure did. I spent my time drawing, which is just like I do every day. It's true. I do spend every day drawing at least one thing. It's actually a rare case if I do not draw. Yesterday on Halloween, I was drawing a goth vampire version of Princess Peach. Here's a sketch version, and I also carried it to its finished form. Let me show you the process. It was a lot of fun, because I like drawing cute but deadly characters, but drawing as fun as it can be can sometimes be really challenging. And it can even be hard to get yourself to just draw sometimes. This is what a lot of people call art block. I think every artist has faced some degree of it at some point in their lives. It is a creative obstacle or mental barrier that prevents artists from creating new ideas or producing work. You only have a certain amount of time to spend on drawing, especially if you go to school or have a day job for instance. It's a finite amount and with such a wide variety of subject matters, it can generate some analysis paralysis. And sometimes you might not feel that motivated or perhaps you're tired. There's some resistance going on, which results in that planned drawing session not going exactly as you wanted it to go. Worst case scenario, you didn't even get to draw at all and that repeats itself for a long time, right? It can repeat itself for a really long time. So how do we fix that? How? Well, I believe every day is a fight against art block. With social media being so prominent in this current day world, it's so easy to get distracted or dopamine farmed by TikTok reels. And if it's not TikTok, it's YouTube shorts or Insta reels. You know how it is. In some way, all this overload of inspiring content and Sigma <laughs> and Sigma reels and entertainment can make you unfocused when you actually start drawing. But I do not think you need to cut social media or other entertainment to start beating art block, even though it might help for some people. No, what solves art block for me are a few things. The first one is letting go of perfectionism. An art piece might never turn out exactly as you imagined, and you always run into issues to fix or realize that you're not exactly where you want to be yet. Sounds familiar? Well, I'm here to tell you that's totally okay. You have to understand that it's part of the journey. It's easier said than done. I would recommend that you that that let's say you finish a piece and you realize there are things wrong with it. Well, unless it's something you can fix rather quickly, at some point you just gotta realize that it's done and move on. Whatever you feel you could do better, you should carry that into the next art piece. This will make you analyze what can be improved and make you excited to fix that in the next work and then you actually see growth over time. With this view, I find it way easier to let go of perfectionism. It's a snapshot of your art skills at that point in time, and it's a part of your journey to get where you want to be. It might take a while to get used to that, but I know a method that's even more of a surefire way to beat art block. And this surefire way to beat art block is responsible because with great power comes great responsibility, right? <laughs> you should treat art as a responsibility that you just have to get done. You can turn art into responsibility by doing an art trade, requests, or even commissions for instance. Someone else is waiting for your drawing to be done, so you don't want to let them down, right? This can also be an art project that you want to get finished around a certain date. For me, that would be my comic. With this, there's always something that needs to be done. And whether you're happy with it or not does not matter that much. What's more important for an art trade request or commission, for instance, is that the person that receives it is happy with the piece. Making art an obligation can be a very powerful way to get yourself to draw daily. You can also start doing a challenge, like doing Inktober or study anatomy for a certain amount of days. This is a responsibility to yourself. Usually, unless of course you tell everyone that you're going to do that challenge. And if you do tell other people, well, you don't want to disappoint them, so you're gonna finish that challenge, no matter what. For me, I made art my job, so that is my responsibility. Uh, but you don't need to get an art job right or do commissions into infinity. You can just do art trades, request projects, challenges, study, you name it. You don't have to work professionally to make art a responsibility. Of course, if you just want to draw for yourself and don't want it to feel like a responsibility because it's a lot of pressure, that's totally okay. 
but then I would really advise you to let go of perfectionism and get drawing as fast and as much as possible. If you feel the inspiration for a moment to draw something, just grab a pencil, do it. Even if you're not happy with it, keep going. You gotta strike when the iron is hot. When you are inspired, draw what inspires you. You're drawing and sometimes that's what matters. It's about building a habit. It's beating that resistance, that hesitance, that perfectionism. This perfectionism, it's basically your brain protecting you from pain. The fear that the piece will not be good. And the best way, at least for me, to beat that is to say, screw it. If I don't draw, there will be nothing. I'd rather have something that might not be perfect, but I made it anyways and had fun. And if I didn't have fun that day, at least I created a good habit. And that's a bit of an insight into how I beat art block. What it comes down to is just letting go of perfectionism and or having some responsibilities that require you to draw. Also, I hope you like my goth vampire Princess Peach. Did you do anything spooky for Halloween? Be sure to say so in the comments. Also, be sure to like favorite and subscribe for more clockwise content. I will soon be releasing the first 20 pages of my new comic. I hope you'll enjoy what's to come next, because I am really excited for it. Take care out there everyone, and don't forget, stay adventurous!